welcome back to another Kickstarter pick of the week and we have Maple Valley by Kids Table Board Gaming. This is the sequel to Creature Comforts and that is my number one family game of all time. I absolutely adore that game. So when this was about to drop, I was so excited, could not wait to make this my pick of the week. So let's go check out the campaign. Now we've survived the cold winter of creature comforts. We're hibernating away, collecting all of those comfort foods, those comfort items, making sure we survive that winter. Well, now the sun has come out and we want to stretch the legs, get outside of the village and explore the valley itself. And that's Maple Valley. Now, $200,000 Australian, 177,000 Canadian, already 2,200 backers and we're only one day into the campaign. That is sensational numbers. They're going to be so happy with that. Let's first look at the game board itself. So as you can see, this is big, bigger, big valley there. You're gonna see different trail types. You're gonna see cards here. These are gonna be your favorite cards. It's gonna be very sim similar to your comfort cards and creature comforts. Now these things are new over here. Look, we've got some more cards down here and look, some beautiful tokens. If you recognize, if you played the original creature comforts and you got that deluxe Kickstarter, those tokens were the highlight of that game by, by a long way. And look at this beautiful, beautiful, cute artwork. This game is so wholesome. The theme is wholesome and the artwork just helps, you know, absolutely you know, draw you into this beautiful, beautiful critter world. Now, let's have a look. Yep, a whole bunch of languages there. And there we go, basically spring has sprung. We're going out to the woodlands and we're gonna go get those resources to get those party favors so we can have the big annual spring festival. Absolutely brilliant. And look, a whole bunch of new stuff there. And again, some cute artwork. Now, if you own the original Creature Comforts, you're gonna notice these are pretty much the kids of the originals, of the original uh, meeples. And I, I, I love that little touch, that is so cute. Yep, and why back now? Firstly, look, they're a great company who produced a game of such high quality that people now want to support them on their second game here, Maple Valley. So this this setting, I think, you know, is just right for more, more sort of, I don't know, not even expansions, but more sequels going forward. Okay, and look, what is in the box? Obviously, we're going to get the game board, a whole bunch of tokens there, and some oversized cards. Again, going back to the original Creature Comforts, Big, like the travelers, those big oversized cards, they looked amazing on the table. And that reminds me, that's the, that's the festivity cards there. And your favorite cards, again, very similar to your comfort cards. And your patch cards are gonna be new, and your doodle cards gonna be new. And there's a look at all of our nice resources. Now those resources are gonna pop on the table there, they're just gonna look so good. And your wooden critter pawns, starter cards, and the wooden worm again. We had a wooden worm as our first player marker in Creature Comfort, so it's nice that they're keeping that going. And player mats is going to be new. Now, again, game trays. So one of the reasons why we support Kickstarters is because we get things that, you know, are a little bit more deluxified. And for me, like they're the sort of games I want to own. I don't know why, but I'm happy to pay more money for something that just feels feels deluxe, feels elegant. And um, game trays, they just never go wrong. And there we go, another good look at those, uh, all those tokens there. Cool, now this is what we're looking at here, 72 Canadian, 54 there for the base game. Um, extra bits, cool, don't need them, don't worry about that. But if you don't have the original Creature Comforts, this is a good opportunity for you to get the original Creature Comforts and on top get Maple Valley. Again, won't need the extra wood bits, but this is almost a must have. If you have Creature Comforts or you're planning on purchasing it, then grab this mini expansion, $5 or $3.75 US. That is absolutely nothing for two little mini expansions there. Um, and what else we got? Look, a whole bunch of stretch goals. This game is gonna keep going. We're only one day to the campaign. Look how many stretch goals we've already unlocked. So, you know, we're gonna get a really nice, solid, full game out of this at the end of it. Now, how to play. Played over five rounds there. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna send our friends out. And those friends are gonna have certain trails that they can venture out on. They're gonna go out, they're gonna collect those resources. It's a, a worker placement, going out to all these different worker placement spots. And they're gonna be able to do different things at each of these spots there. So again, going back, very similar vibe to Creature Comforts. 
again, collecting those resources, trading those resources in for these favors or you're crafting these favors and then you're gonna spend those favors on these festivity cards. Look, that's pretty much as simplified as this game gets. Now, what makes this game so appealing is it is such simple mechanics that the kids can play, the kids can get into it, the kids can enjoy it, the kids are gonna to wanna to move those meeples around, they're gonna get excited being in this world. But adults are also gonna get a kick out of this game because again, it is gonna be similar mechanics that you're used to in other bigger, heavier games, but it's just, again, just more of a wholesome theme that everyone is gonna enjoy. So there's a reason why this game is gonna be on my shelf. It's as simple as that. We go, look, a whole bunch of stuff there. Just, you know, a bit of nice sort of story there. Download the rule book and a whole bunch of videos. And that's about it, shipping. Um, for Australia here, 25 Canadian, 19 US, that's, that's fine. It's normally, with its similar creature comforts, it's a little bit of a smaller box, like medium sized box there. So yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna be good. And retailers, yep, and that's pretty much it. So look, my thoughts on this, yeah, you know, I think do yourself a favor. If you've, got, if you've got kids, or even if you just wanna play this game with your partner, um, it's just something that so many people are gonna feel comfortable playing it it's going to be a gateway game that you can introduce new people to and it's going to be a game that you can also still play with your gaming group there's going to be enough there enough meat on the bones you know just look it's going to be a lighter game but i think it's something that so many different people so many different you know from the kids to new gamers to experienced gamers are going to get something out of this and of course you know if you love that art you know you're going to just love the world that they've created here so Look, that's my opinion on this. This was a must back. This was my most anticipated game of 2022. So there was, look, there was never going to be anything else but this for this Kickstarter pick of the week. Now, if you like this video, if you like what I do, please like and subscribe. Look, a subscription will really help me grow this channel. It'll really help me get this out to more people. Anyway, that's it from me. I'm Hoax. This is Board Game Bangers. Until next time, letters.